Welcome to the 2024 PLL Junior Championship Draft presented by our partners at Whirlpool. I'm Mike Rabel, co-founder and CEO of the Premier Lacrosse League, and I'm thrilled to be here tonight. Before we dive into the excitement of this year's draft, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to all the players and families who made last year's Junior Championships an unforgettable event. Who could forget the Junior Water Dogs beating the Archers back to back at the iconic Homewood Field broadcasted live on ESPN Plus? It was a showcase of raw talent, teamwork, and pure passion, a true highlight of our 2023 season at the PLL. I can't wait to see what this year has in store with 370 exceptional players selected from across North America. After rigorous competition or training camps, the talent pool has never been deeper. And tonight we will witness the next generation of lacrosse stars as they take their first steps towards glory with the ultimate goal of claiming the 2024 junior championship title at the historic Homewood Field once again. But before we unveil tonight's picks, let's hear a few words from my brother, PLL president and co-founder, Paul Rabel. Thanks, Mike. And hello to each of you out there getting ready to find out what team is about to select you. But in the meantime, I wanted to give you a heartfelt congratulations on being selected to join us at the PLL Junior Championships presented by Whirlpool in Baltimore, Maryland at the historic Homewood Field, a place that has a special meaning to me having competed there for four years having won championships there homewood field is the mecca of college lacrosse which i hope for you one day to be playing at or against now before i send back to mike i want to share a story with you guys because your age right now resonates for me when i was 12 i picked up a stick for the first time when I was 14, I was at a lacrosse camp where one of the legendary coaches at the college ranks pulled everyone together. And he asked us all a question, who here wants to be great? The whole room raised their hand. And he said, who here wants to play division one lacrosse? Everyone raised their hand. How about get a full scholarship to play division one lacrosse? Of course, the hand stayed up. Then he said, I'll tell you how to do it. Everyone in the room sort of looked and listened. Shoot 100 shots a day from this day forward through your senior year of high school. And he said, I'll guarantee you'll get a division one scholarship. That was impactful for me. And not that much of a lift, 30 minutes a day. Something I care about, something I love. And I committed to that. So whether you're a 12 year old, a 14 year old, 15 year old, it doesn't matter. You shoot 100 shots a day You'll not only be ready for the junior championships in Baltimore, Maryland, but you're going to explode on the scene in high school and college. And we'll be along the way, watching you, cheering you on. So, see you guys in Baltimore. Gonna send it back to Mike. Thanks, 99. All right, let's do it. Let's get right to the draft. Nolting, made that look easy. Hey everyone, Asher Nolting here, Boston Cannon's attackman. Super excited to be on here to announce our newest members. And without further ado, let's meet the Boom Squad. Asher, what's up, man? Question for you. What advice would you give to the players drafted tonight, headed into the junior championships? Hey, Mike, good to see you. Uh, yeah, no, a piece of advice for me for these guys is, you know, truthfully just come in ready to be a good teammate. Uh, I think you got to see last year, the best teams obviously had super talented players, but they also had teams where, you know, guys bought into their roles. So. You know, maybe your role is different on your club team or your rec team, whatever it is, but come in and just, you know, be ready to play maybe a different role and uh, and be a good teammate. Any final words to the 2024 junior Boston Cannons? Yeah, Mike, you know, for me, um, some advice that I have is just, you know, kind of come in trying to play some egoless lacrosse. Um, you know, I think one of the things is, you know, that makes the team successful last year is everyone's got different roles so just make sure you show up and you know you might have to play a different role than you're normally used to and uh, it's good for you and you get to play with some other kids from you know across the country so that should be exciting all right thank you asher appreciate it we'll talk to you soon now i play 39 percent on the season dennis with a missile hello everyone i'm romar dennis midfielder for the california redwoods I'm thrilled to be here tonight releasing our picks for the PLL Junior Championships this summer. Let's meet the latest additions to the California Redwoods. Romar Dennis, 
Tell me what it means to play for the California Redwoods. Hey, Mike. I'm incredibly humbled to be a part of the California Redwoods. It's It's been a dream come true to live here the last four years and be a part of lacrosse and join us. It's been getting better and better the last few decades. Uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. Uh, it really puts everything in perspective and I, I couldn't ask to be in a better market and on a better team helping grow the game here. Thank you, Romar. I appreciate your time. Oh, goal. That might be the first of several we see today from Chaos and it's Troy Ray. These guys can fire from distance. What's going on, guys? Troy Ray here with the Carolina Chaos. I'm super excited to be here tonight to announce the Chaos teams headed to Baltimore this summer. Without further ado, let's announce the team. All right, this is a fun one for you, Troy. If you could describe the Carolina Chaos in one word, what would it be? Hey, Mike, great question. Uh, I think what Coach Towers does best is lets us play freely um, by instilling confidence and, and trust in his players. Um, so coaching you know, the Junior Chaos this summer at the Junior Championships, um, I'm going to do the same thing, you know, instill trust confidence, um, let them play freely, make plays, and, and most importantly, have fun. So, uh, you know, I'm super excited to get after it in Baltimore uh, this summer and, and looking forward to it. Awesome. Thank you, Troy. Appreciate your time, brother. Goes right to the goal and scores! Who needs a set play? Oh, looking for a cutter. Finds Anderson and scores! Hey, everyone. I'm Justin Anderson, midfielder for the Denver Outlaws. I'm pumped to be here tonight announcing the first ever Junior Outlaws. Let's meet the newest members of the team. Justin, you're known as a leader on and off the field. What qualities do you value most in a teammate, especially for the kids you're gonna be meeting for the first time at the PLL Junior Championships? Hey Mike, honestly, there's a lot of things I value in a teammate. Uh, just to name a few, I think a valuable teammate is, is somebody that's super selfless somebody that does things for other people, that tries to get other people open, uh, that values and um, celebrates the success of their teammates. I think that's pivotal. And, and also somebody that leaves everything on the field that does their absolute best to try to help the team and not just help themselves. Thanks, Justin. Thanks for joining. We'll talk to you soon. Another face-off win for Trevor Baptiste. What's up, PLL Juniors? It's Trevor Baptiste representing the New York Atlas, and it's time to hear the players that are competing for us in Baltimore in the 2024 Junior PLL Championships. Here are your New York Atlas picks. Trevor, you are known for your competitive nature and your fierce intensity on the field. What type of advice do you want to impart to the 2024 Junior New York Atlas. Thanks, Mike. I'm extremely excited to see the Junior New York Atlas take the field. Uh, some advice I'd have for these guys is exactly like you said, competitive nature is so important and there's gonna be ebbs and flows all over the tournament in any given game, in any given moment, but don't let that take your competitive nature away. Keep battling, keep going forward and make sure you do everything together. I'm excited to watch you guys tear it up. Awesome, thank you for joining Trevor, appreciate your time. 30. And DeLuca is standing on his head during this stretch. DeLuca has been a brick wall. Hey everyone, Matt DeLuca, goalie for the Philadelphia Water Dogs. I'm excited to announce the 2024 Junior Water Dogs who will be headed to Baltimore this summer to compete for another championship. Welcome to the team and go dogs. Matt, you coached the 2023 Water Dogs Championship team last year. What do you think it'll take to go back to back this year in 2024? Hey Mike, I think in order to repeat this year in 2024, it's gonna take a lot of time and effort early on to building that team chemistry and team culture. I think that's something our 2023 team did an unbelievable job at and really helped us win that championship. So if we can come back here in 2024, build that team chemistry, establish that culture, I think we'll have a really good chance of running it back here in Baltimore this summer. All right, thank you for joining Matt, appreciate your time. Some space, a minute left in the first half. Lefty shot is pure, Brad Smith. Hello everybody, Brad Smith here, midfielder for the Maryland Whipsnakes. I'm pumped to be here to announce the players who will compete for the Junior Whipsnakes this summer in Baltimore. It's time to meet the newest members of the team. Brad, so the Junior Championships this year are again in Maryland at Homewood Field. 
Talk to me about some advice to the junior Maryland Whip Snakes about defending their home turf. Thanks, Mike. Uh, of course, the state of Maryland and, and Baltimore specifically is some of the richest lacrosse history in the world. Uh, my biggest piece of advice for, for the junior whips this summer, when you put on that jersey, you read Maryland across your chest, not only are you representing yourself, your family, your hometown, and your home state, but now you're taking on the responsibility of representing the state of Maryland, some of that rich lacrosse tradition, and you need to defend the turf. So take pride in being able to wear Maryland across your chest because it is a special thing. My biggest piece of advice is don't take one opportunity for granted and do your best to, to fight as hard as you can to represent that Maryland name, Maryland Whip Snakes. Good luck, boys. Go get them. All right. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate you joining. That's up with Colin Squires here. Schreiber trying to get the hands free with five on the timer. Ooh. Oh, Tom Schreiber. Captain America puts the Archers. Hey guys, Tom Schreiber, midfielder for the Utah Archers here. Honored to be here tonight to welcome the newest members of our organization. Let's meet the newest members of the team. Tom Schreiber, question for you. What does it mean to play for the Utah Archers? Thanks, Mike. Um, you know, when I think about our team, our organization, the Archers culture, it's all about putting the team uh, above yourself, right? It's not about the individual. It's not about individual performances. It's about working together toward a common goal, and hopefully that goal, uh, like ours, is to win a championship. So um, if you're going to be a part of our team, which we certainly consider you to be, uh, make sure you uphold that standard and elevate that standard, right? Be about the team, not yourself, and good things will happen. Bring home a championship to our organization. Best of luck and have some fun. Awesome, Tom. Thank you for joining. Looking forward to seeing you this summer. All right, everyone. That concludes our 2024 PLL Junior Championship Draft presented by Whirlpool. What an incredible opportunity for the players that were drafted tonight. And this year, players are not only representing PLL teams, but their new home cities. I know each of you will represent your team with pride. Congratulations. Thank you all for joining. And we'll see you soon in Baltimore.